Hi, my name is Katie Larson and I'm a market product manager here at SICK. I manage our color sensor portfolio and would like to show you our new CSS high resolution color sensor. Let's take a look at some of the features of this brand new sensor. As you can see, it's in our familiar housing that our KTS contrast sensors are also housed in. If we look at the screen here on the back of it, we can see a live box of what the sensor is actually seeing versus what the, what the sensor was actually taught in as to see. Um, so then we can also do these plus and minus buttons to view both the RGB as well as the LAB values. So now I'll go back to the main screen and show you a quick multi-value teach-in using these sick boxes that have a pattern to basically show you uh, what we're able to do. So our multi-value teach is going to be best in changing conditions of height positioning as well as material with te texture or patterns such as these boxes. So as you can see here, as I move across all the boxes, uh, it detects that pa the background pattern as well as um, the blue box as well. And then it goes off when it goes on the table. So it's also showing one of our key features here that we can do 50 to 500 millimeters away from the object. And then with our automatic distance regulation, we can sense these varying heights of boxes so that we don't have to uh, have it taught in at different heights as well. So then on this sheet, I'm gonna show you how we can uh, look at a single value teach between these two different grays. So as you see here, I have a different QL taught in on this guy and I just gotta move it around a little bit. But uh, so I have it taught in right here to this gray versus not seeing this gray. So I also up the sensitivity to make sure we had an accurate uh, detection of that color. So the CSS high resolution and CSS high speed, which is the model that will actually be replacing our CS8s, have both officially launched. The CSS is also IO link capable, so we have a convenient SOPUS interface that, you can be, that can be used to pro program it if you prefer not to do so on the actual sensor. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your local SICK sales rep or application engineer, and I'm also available on LinkedIn for any of your color sensing needs.